Smart vs. Dumb Edits Part 2. Everyone really loved the first one, so I decided why not make a second? In case you guys don't know what's about to go down, I'm going to walk you through arena fights that I had throughout the course of the week. I'm going to show you whether or not the enemy's edit or my edit was a smart or dumb play in the moment. If there ever comes a time, I'm going to walk you through some quick stuff and creative so everyone's on the same page. Use sporty creator code KEMBEANS in the item shop and check out the merch down below, KEMBEANS.STORE. And without further ado, let's head into this video. Starting out with your average normal build fight, but this is how it gets crazy. Side jumping on a player, you got to be careful. Nonetheless, when you do the high wall tactic, I always talk about this. Really important for you to side jump and try and get that cone above his head. That's exactly why this edit here works so well because I played deep to the back left of the box. So opening up that top right hand corner edit actually made it so it was really hard for him to see me. That's not very a smart edit though because the average player, if they see that, they'll just stare you off. The speed, the momentum. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The speed and the momentum is what really sold this edit. Finishing up the kill, I just played really aggressive since I had the advantage, but that edit at the beginning wasn't too bad. This fight almost got out of hand, but I was able to keep it in control by doing these small, simple moves. You may have missed it really quickly. This flat right here I got at the beginning of the fight. Nonetheless, I'm dropping down on cones to box fight this guy from a different angle. This is a little separate, but in case you guys don't know, you want to do stuff just like this. I'm pressuring this guy in two ways, but one of the ways he doesn't even know. I want him to open up so I can pre-fire him and then place a new wall just like I did right here. If he doesn't do that though, it's fine because I'll just try and take the wall and then go for peace control. You see how I'm winning in both aspects of this fight? That's how I set myself up for good optimal edits. This is the crazy unique play though. After I cracked him, I realized that not only did I have a wall to break through, but also he placed a stair in there. So I had two builds to go through. So I decided to attack this box from a different angle. I'm trying to break through these cones, right? But you could see as I broke the first one, I saw that I had the floor. So I was like, okay, this is a really good play to set up. What I did as I was swinging, I realized that if I place a stair, I can jump up, edit it and edit through both and get the kill. Even though I'm not a fast editor, pairing it with a little bit of speed will help it be a really, really good edit. If you can take someone by surprise, then it's probably worth to go for that edit. That's exactly what I did right here. And the reason why I jumped up because I knew that I'd be able to confirm both edits by the time I landed, which got me in the guy's face. To make smart edits in Fortnite, what you need to do is set yourself up for the ability to be able to do a smart edit. That's exactly what I do right here. And I always tell people to do this move. When you're landing on someone who has more than one box, you always want to place two stairs just like this. So it confuses them as to which one you're going to land on. That might give you time so you can land on their wall, take it, and then do an edit that will take them off guard. But I have my shotgun out when I was landing on the stair so I can back up and pre-fire. Even when you play aggressive, the objective is to try and get a pre-fire shot so you could shoot them and then it blocks their return fire. Nonetheless, you see how I claim the wall in front of them? That's why I hopped over the wall and on the way down, I edit the whole thing and get the kill from the other side. That was two examples right there where I took a player off guard by doing an edit in the air. When you have the opportunity to do edits in the air like this, it's super effective. That's something that I've been realizing throughout this video. When you know that you're healthy in Fortnite and you're box fighting someone, it's really important to pay attention to what gun the guy is using that you're versing. I was taken off guard when I took this guy's floor. I'm gonna be honest, I just didn't expect him to start spraying at me with his AR like that. I end up running to peace control, but in reality, I realize that I'm caught in a jiff. This is the reason why I play on the edge of my build so I can shoot someone and then just place a wall again. I did this super quick though, and if I played in normal speed, it will look really clean. But if I was this guy, I would have looked for a way to escape instead of tried to go for a 50 50. The start of this fight was pretty smart, but at the end for that guy, that was a dumb edit. When both of you guys are build fighting and one of you get the cone just like this, this is why I always place the wall ahead of that cone. Just like in this scenario, doing the top right hand corner edit here, I think was pretty useful. Again, I think it was a smart edit, but I don't think there could have been another edit that would have worked here that would have been able to make me get a shot on him, but keep him at bay. I want to keep him at a distance instead of letting him charge into me. Notice how once I get him on that wall, I go for peace control on the opposite side of him or the right side of him to set myself up nice. What I did was do a window edit. That was a genius way to not 50 50 the fight, but still crack him and do a decent amount of damage. If I got all five pels to hit, it would have hit harder. Nonetheless, what you guys need to start doing is learning how to push people just like this. When someone plays scared on the edge of their builds, this is when you have the best opportunity to push them. No matter what edit this guy makes here, I will shove walls to block any shots. Going forward, I realized that he did the same thing not once, but twice. So he sees me trying to exploit in and I see that he has a shotgun out. So as I jump through, what I do is shove walls to keep that barrier between us. You see, I'm just literally shoving my hand out like a stiff arm in football. That's exactly what it kind of is in Fortnite. Sounds nerdy, I know. But it really does work because it allows me to push into him and keep the pressure on him. Then I just attack him from an angle and get the kill. I've been realizing and picking up on the fact that a lot of pros do the same type of tactic. They're in control of the entire fight no matter what's happening because they're always able to shove builds in your face which will lead them to do an edit on you. What makes this 
edit smart and not dumb is the fact that I'm doing the edit from the left of the wall. That means if anything were to happen, I'd be able to shoot and place a new wall. So to do smart edits, what you need to do is to set yourself up in a position to be on the edge of another build so that you can pre-fire someone if they do edit out on you. Nonetheless, I'm even doing the top row wall edit, which makes it so if you were to run forward at me, he would get caught on the brick and not be able to run at me. That's how you limit 50-50s and do heavy damage shots. I come in this box, boom, I get a quick kill. To set the next play up, what I did was create an entire box after I got the kill. That's something you always do so you have all the walls around you. Nonetheless, a guy starts pushing my box right away. Realizing where he is, I do this top right hand corner edit, but notice what I did. To make this a smart, optimal edit, you see how I didn't jump when I confirmed it? In most of Fortnite, to make optimal edits, what you want to do is not jump and keep yourself grounded. That way, the other person has a hard time of seeing you. And since you're doing the right hand peek, you'll have a great shot. To swap the situation around real quick, this guy flipped the stair. This was a good edit. Not to throw you off, but it was a dumb edit. It was a good right hand peek, but in fact, whenever you make an edit on something that's metal, I'll be able to take it really quickly. It got a little awkward at the end, but that's the reason why this guy I was fighting died. He could have just dropped all the way down below that floor as well and left and went to go heal up. He didn't do that. I took the stair from him and then he panicked. I got the kill. It's really important to remember that even though you're box fighting someone, you have to remember that edits are always weak after you confirm them. So when you're cornered in the box, the first thing you should do is think about leaving before you try and confirm an edit that's going to trap you. In every single fight across the board, as you can see, I'm dropping on this guy's wall, but I'm playing on the corner of where his bills meet. So if he edits on either wall, I'll be able to run to the other side so that I don't get shot. So if I were to show you in creative real quick, if he edited on the front wall that I was looking at, all I'd have to do is just scoot to the left. Just remember that when I fight someone, I'm not looking to build fight. I try to block them and then extend cones through my walls every single time. This is most definitely a smart thing to do because you're blocking them from getting height, which makes you box fight them. One stops the fight from getting to height so you waste mats, and two, it doesn't make you get third partied as much because you're not high in the air. I hit this guy with a high wall, and this was a beautiful, smart edit. I did a window edit instead of doing any other edit because it makes it not a 50-50. And a lot of times, what I did here was I also placed a cone. It makes the guy's field of view get screwed up a little bit because he bumps his head on the cone. I like to play semi-deep in a box when I do a top right-hand corner edit. You can see right here, I'm not pressed up against the wall just in case the guy sprays and tries to kill me. Making smart edits in Fortnite is not about the literal edit that you make. It's more about the position you put yourself in when you make that edit that makes it smart. If you guys can understand that, that's when Fortnite's going to get a lot easier for you. With this to creative, I should have done the same thing, but I should have reset the wall really quickly and then did a window edit. I was in a rush to kill this guy for literally no reason. And in fact, I could have got 200 pumped here if this guy had a gold pump. Find yourself dropping around a wall. The guy inside this box made a smart edit. But how I counter smart edits is by playing a deep angle. See how I attack someone's wall and as I'm keeping the pressure up, I'll run to the other side of the box at the same time. That sets it up so I'll be able to place a new wall and be in my own box. After he resets, walls one shot. I go in there and just full send. I only do this on one occasion. Think about the scenario for one second. Lots of people, what they do nowadays, especially because I've been saying in my videos, they hold the wall after they reset it because they know that it's one shot. So nonetheless, if I get the wall on the first try, I caught this guy with his map out. This is a common thing. I catch a lot of people with their maps out. That gives me the advantage to run in there at full speed and just take him completely off guard. Imagine if I was able to hit a heavy damage shot here, this fight would have ended like that. This fight was beautiful because once I pre-fired this guy, you see how I placed the wall and then did an edit to try and cone him up and down. The first shot I did, I cracked him and then I placed the wall and it actually blocked his shot. This is exactly what I preached throughout the entire video. As he's in the air, I go for the next shot because that makes it very hard for him to shoot me back. Pay attention to this off spawn fight. I'm running in there and I get two kills right off the bat. The next thing I do is pick up my shotgun. There's another guy rolling up, so I stay very calm and relaxed. I realize one, I probably have more health than this guy. Two, I have more mass than him. And three, I probably have a good shotgun. You have to do this move very carefully because the second this guy rolls in front of your face, you have to just look and see what gun he has out. What gun is he holding in his hand? So that way I'll know which edit to make. The second I saw that for Moss, they won't be able to do a lot of damage with that thing compared to my shotgun. Practically looking like an AI walking across my box and I get the quick kill. Whenever you get really, really weak in a box fight, I hit this guy really hard. I killed him right off the bat. Nonetheless, there was another guy in that box and I knew that. That's why I was pushing it. To make smart edits in Fortnite, you have to realize what the other guy is going to be thinking. If you're the guy with the Midas skin, that gold skin, you have to literally read what I'm doing. You have to look at me, then react. You don't just react based off on what you hear. It's based on what you see and hear. That's exactly why this guy made an edit because he probably doesn't have that much experience on the game. I predicted this edit and that's how I was able to shoot and place a new wall. When they use their harpoon, I'm not scared because all I do, I know that I'll get this mini off and be able to place a new wall into my new box. The same thing I let him do to me, he let me do to him. 
now he's getting third partied and this right here was not a smart edit. I should have done a window edit because if I was this guy in red, I would have predicted me running out at him. This was in fact a very dumb edit because I could have died because I was only 51 HP. This is how I know when someone doesn't have a lot of experience just by the way they position themselves in a box. The second I roll up to this guy's wall, I see that he has a shotgun now. That's prime time. He might be ready to make any sort of edit. I test the waters with one pickaxe swing and instantly take out my shotgun. He'll never be able to confirm an edit and shoot me by the time I shoot him and place a new wall. You see how I rolled up to that box extremely confident and even though I'm not able to prove it to you, I knew exactly what was going to happen before it even happened. I'm cracked in a fight and I know this guy's trying to make his way up to box fight me. Nonetheless, what I do is whenever you're in this situation, always flip the stair completely backwards. Don't do a half edit it's there because they could still run away. I made the edit so that he'd hit his head on the stair and I'd be able to crack him. Like I said, again, place a new wall. Pretty common, right? If it ain't common enough, here we go again. I drop down on his face and place a new wall. You guessed it. Probably the dumbest edit I've made throughout this entire video. If you guys learned one thing here, just realize that the guy wasn't completely full box. So he was able to make an edit, go away from where I thought he would be, and then he almost killed me. If I were to be in this situation again, I'd play further away to try and see where he rats out to. If you like this idea, you like the video, like the video. I just want to mention that we're growing a community a lot faster than I thought it would happen. I appreciate everyone who shows support, whether you like the video, comment, or you just watch the video all the way through. Shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code KenBeans. You guys are the homies. Talk to you guys in the next video. Deuces. Peace.